Hey, um, my name's Grant, and I'm going to be critiquing Nori's pictures. I don't know if this is echoing or not. Um, it was before. I don't really know how to fix it, so if it is, sorry. Uh, I'm going to start out with the picture that I think is the best. Um, I thought it was this one. I like how it focuses on half the um, cactus, but on the other half it has more light. You can see the shadows, and it also focuses on all the little tiny prickles of the cactus, with also, also bringing out like, the cool color of the flowers. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, let's see. I thought that like this one was probably the least strong. Um, she kind of said, uh, "Don't." take pictures of your animals and stuff like that. Um, this is kind of an example of that, I guess. I like that one too, it's pretty cool. It focuses on the little fire. Fire looks like a drawing if you take a picture of it, I guess. It's also kind of cool. I can tell that you set that up to be taken like creating the stage for the picture, so that's pretty cool. I think there could have been some more done to that one, but I do like the plants and it's cool looking. Again, another dog picture. Um, I think just step out of your comfort zone a little more. I saw a lot of that throughout all these pictures. Uh, I like the color of your yoga pants. Those look kind of cool. But uh, she also said try not to take pictures of flat surfaces. Um, so think about that. Well, that actually looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, I like snow. Again, um, she says try not to take pictures of flat surfaces. Um, I think the object that you took a picture of is cool. Maybe try it in a different setting. I like the colors presented there by the different things. I can tell you set the picture up. <laughs> um, keeping it real. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I like the color of the flower. Um, I think more could have been done with, pic with the pictures and taking a selfie, I guess. But I do like the flower. I think it has a cool color to it. <coughs> so yeah, looking through these pictures, um, one of the questions was, does the artist generally understand the requirements of the project? Um, yes, I do believe she understands the requirements. Um, you can see she tries to focus on different colors and lighting throughout her pictures. Um, another one was, I like that one, that's cool. See, that's an example of a vibrant red there. And the old Coke bottle, that's cool looking. Um, how effectively has the artist used elements of design and photography to compose the images? Um, I think. It was a pretty good job. I think it could have been done more. Um, like I said, a lot of the pictures seem to be taken inside of your apartment or around it. I think stepping outside of your comfort zone, um, maybe trying a different scene somewhere else would be beneficial. I like that picture. That's cool. The icicle. That's also pretty cool. Um, condensation. I like those. See, that's another example of a lot of vibrant color that stands out and looks different. Um, yeah, so um, saying the mostly what you could do to improve is I think just get a kind of a more of a variety or different pictures outside of your 
outside of your comfort zone. This is another sign of uh, vibrant colors. I like how you, I mean, you can tell you set some of these pictures up. For example, this one there's obviously not something with a hair tie. Um, but you can also tell that it's inside of your apartment. I like that. This is kind of representative of like what we read in the articles where um, like people could generally just walk by things and not really see the artistic value or possible artistic value in them. So stopping to capture a photo, and, um, you can create art out of something that is just normally there. I really think it could just be, um, maybe try to incorporate a little more uh, pizzazz to it. I guess I don't know another word for it. It's actually kind of a cool picture. It shows a lot of the different colors of food. It's kind of interesting. I don't think it's, that is cool. Um, I like the shadows and how you put it in black and white. The little uh, lipstick thing there, that's actually pretty cool. I don't know how you shot that with the black uh, background, but yeah, that one's pretty cool. That's probably one of my favorites as well. Yeah, it's cool, obviously. Stop and smell the flowers. You have flowers around it, it's, it's, uh, setting up an image. I like that picture too, that's pretty cool. Um, the different shadows and how the light comes in through here is interesting. Um, it's a lot darker than most of the other pictures. This is cool, it shows something different. Is that a P of Chang's come up? Um, I like this picture a lot too, it shows a lot of different, like I said before, a lot of the vibrant colors. Um, something that stands out more. Maybe try to uh, add some depth to the picture. I don't. Yeah, just to show something that's not flat. Roses are always, uh, I guess, good things to take pictures of because they're pretty. Um, and the vibrant color as well. You know, I like the. Uh, the shadows and lighting presented here, that the natural sunlight um, always presents cool shadows. 